Welcome to Razorback Nation. Tonight, our newscasters are diving into where football meets economics. Good morning and welcome to Razorback Nation. My name is Kyle Veet, joined by my co-host Daniel Tu, and today we'll be tackling all things Razorback football. When most people think of Razorback football, you think of loyal fanatics who fill Donald W. Reynolds Stadium, even when the Hawks are having a losing season, but that has not been the case for 2017. Elasticity is the measurement of how responsive the quantity demanded is to changes in price. Let's look back at 2011 when the Hogs won the Cotton Bowl. To do this, we're going to look back at footage of an excited fan a week before the game. Hi, I'm Grayson McReynolds, and I'm reporting live at Hog Stadium. Woo! What a great season, am I right? Let's ask some fans some questions. Hey, what's your name? Hey, I'm Justin Blair. I'm the Hogs' number one fan. I've been a Razorback fan my whole life. I bleed Razorback red. I love the Hogs. I love to hear that, Justin. I love to hear that. Well, it was a great Woo! season, am I right? Oh, yeah, the best season I can remember, man. Great season. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, so, you know, the average season ticket price is about $200. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you paid that, right? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I have yeah. season tickets. So, yeah, yeah. So what about 250 Like, would that be a little much next season? Uh, it's expected to go up because we did so well this season. Oh, no, no. I'd, I'd definitely still be up here if they went up by $50. So yeah. you do 250 Okay, yeah. what about 300 Oh, yeah, I'd still be up here for sure, for sure. It's well worth it. Yeah. 300 okay. Now, uh, Justin, um, I'm assuming you have some kidneys. What if you had to give a couple kidneys and uh, pay $400? Uh, yeah, I'd give $400, both kidneys, my right toe. I'd ask family members for body parts. I would do whatever I had to to come up here and call those hogs, baby! And yeah, that's Razorback football, and I'm reporting live from Hog Stadium. Back to you. Hi, Mom. Now, that's loyalty and a great representation of an economic example of brand loyal customers. That's right, Kyle. I did some research. As you can see here, as price goes up, quantity demand changes very little. This shows us the fanaticism of our 2011 fan. Economists would call this an inelastic demand. That's some really good research, Daniel. Did you take Dr. Staff's class in college? In fact, I did. Thanks, Kyle. Interestingly enough, we caught the same fan right after last week's loss to Mizzou. Let's see what he has to say after a disappointing 4-8 season. So this past season has not been the best. Uh, I understand you've been a season ticket holder for a long time. Yes, sir. Uh, this past year, season tickets were about $250. That's right. Uh, but due to the construction that's going on, it's rumored that they're going to go up another $50 for next season. Uh, what do you think about this? Um, you, you definitely won't catch me here if, if they go up $10 because, I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable at $250, but the team's not doing well right now, so I definitely won't be up here if season tickets go up by that much. What are you going to do instead if, if, you don't, if they go up and you don't spend the money here? I hear the community college here is starting a team, so I'll, I'll be watching them on Saturdays. Back to you. Who would have thought that a Razorback fan would have shown such a dramatic shift in fandom after just six years? Well, that's just the consequence of very high elasticity in a disappointing Razorback football season. Kyle, I did some more research. Turns out that economists would say that our fan 2017 has elastic demand. What that means is as price goes up, the quality of demand changes even more. So we would say that our fan has changed from a brand loyal fan to a marginal fan. Wow, you're really on fire today, Daniel. That's some really good research. Thanks, Kyle. And that's all for Razorback Nation. I'm Daniel Too, And I'm Kyle V. Thanks for joining us. I think I'm hearing that the, the next Arkansas football coach will be coach.